Hi, let's solve this question. K is a positive integer. So we have been given that K is a positive integer means that it is greater than 0 and it is an integer. Alright, let's read further. When K raised to the power 4 is divided by 32, the remainder is 0. So it, if, if K raised to the power uh, 4 is divided by 32, then the remainder is 0. What does it mean? Let's understand this further. It means that k raised to the power 4 is a multiple of 32. Let's say 32 into a, where a will also be an integer, right? Because k is an integer. So, uh, 32 into an integer will be k raised to the power 4. All right. Let's uh, read our question further. Which of the following could be the remainder when k is divided by 32? So, what we need to find is that k if divided by 32, then which options, option 1, option 2, option 3, which of these options can be the correct remainders? Alright, so let's evaluate the given information further. Since we are required to find uh, the, the remainder when k is divided by 32, let's simplify this expression to get a value of k. All right, we, we will uh, simplify this expression here. So if k raised to the power 4 is 32 times a, it means that k will be 32 into a raised to the power 1 by 4, right? Which means it will be 2 raised to the power 5 into a raised to the power 1 by 4, which means it will be 2 raised to the power 4. If, if we take this 2 outside, then we will be left with 2 into 2a raised to the power 1 by 4. Now, it is very important here to understand that because k is an integer, it means that 2a raised to the power 4 should also, 1 by 4 should also be an integer, which means that 2a, uh, we should be able to express 2a uh, in, in a, uh, as, as you know, uh, uh, as a number which gives you integer when raised to the power 1 by 4, right? So, when will that be possible? If we have, let's say, if if it, if it we can express a as 2 raised to the power 3 into x raised to the power 4, where x is also an integer, right? If, if this is true, then what will happen? 2a raised to the power 1 by 4 will be 2 into 2 raised to the power 3 into x raised to the power 1 by 4, which will be equal to 2 into x. Right? So, this will be an integer. Now, I have taken 2 raised to the power 3 here because that is the minimum power of 2 required here. Alright? x can also be even. So, we can have even higher powers of 2 here, but 2 raised to the power 3 is the minimum power required here and x raised to the power 4 is the minimum power required here for x to make sure that this is an integer. So, if we use this value further, we can say that k, we will be substituting it here, that k is equal to 2 into 2a raised to the power 1 by 4, which is 2x. So, k is equal to 4x, which means that k is 4 into any integer, right? Now, with this understanding, let's evaluate what can be the remainder when k is divided by 32. Now. Uh, we will express k as 4 into an integer by 32. So, if x is equal to 1, k will be 4, remainder will be 4. If x is equal to 2, k will be 8, remainder will be 8. If x is equal to 3, k will be 12, remainder will be 12. If x is equal to 4, k will be 16 remainder will be 16. So, you can see these all are, um, uh, these all remainders are multiples of 4. Right? With this understanding, let's evaluate the answer choices. So, 2 choice 1. 2 is not a multiple of 4, therefore it cannot be the correct remainder. 4, we saw that 4 is a possible remainder. 6 again is not a multiple of 4, so it cannot be the correct remainder. It is not a possible remainder. So, only 2 is possible. Only 
this is possible hence the correct answer choice is choice b hope that helps happy learning